In this segment, we're going to talk about PC preventive maintenance. Just as you would maintain your car or anything else that's a costly investment, you should also maintain your PC. Every so often, you want to take it and take a good examination of it, make sure that it's working properly and nothing is wrong with it. What we have here is we've removed the electrical connections and everything else. This will be what's called a headless system because there's nothing there, no monitor or anything else. Uh, we're going to take the cover off. In this case, we're taking the side cover off, get it out of our way. But we're not going to stop there. We're also going to take the front cover off as well. There's usually just a few connectors that hold it in place. It'll snap out of the way. And then we're going to blow it out with air so that we can get all the dust bunnies out. The way a PC typically works is that the fan will pull air through and extract it from the back. So it's pulling air into the front and you're getting all this hair and debris and such which will collect in here. That'll build up heat over time and you want to get rid of that. While it's open, be sure and look for any physical connections that are loose or missing, um, that have fallen off. Make sure that the cards are securely seated. In this case, we've got a couple of cards that don't have the screws in them. We would simply add those screws to make sure that it's good and tight. Look it over, make sure there's no signs of heat damage. Heat damage is usually a discoloration on the cards. And just make sure that from a physical examination, it looks okay. After that, we would button the machine up and we'd be ready to take a look at the software component of it. Almost every operating system includes some utilities which will let you clean up the machine and keep it optimally running. Defrag is a good example to put all the files contiguous. Disk cleanup gets rid of temporary files. It's recommended that you run those on a regular basis. It's also recommended that you keep the systems current, not just the operating system itself, but also the machine. You don't want to run legacy machines if you don't have to. Make sure you have as much RAM as you possibly can. Make sure you're keeping your systems current and able to do the job that they can do. You don't want one of your machines to be a bottleneck on the system. As long as you take care of that, keep them current, keep everything running, they'll last a long time.